Hello, day seven. Okay, we're one third into the Simple System 21 days. So hopefully you're doing very well, you're staying with a very good positive attitude. Like we've told you all along, keep it simple. And remember, one day at a time. This program is one day at a time. Just make it through today, tomorrow will bring a whole nother day, okay? Now, one thing that I wanted to show you, this is the book that we've sent you. Hopefully, if you haven't printed it out, because it is 44 pages, you are following it on your computer. Um, this book will follow through with everything we're doing with the videos. Now, we're trying to do a video every day so that you get to see us and we can actually demonstrate what we're trying to teach you. So, don't hesitate to print this book out or at least follow through on it. It will talk about nutrition. It will give you a little bit more ideas. Um, in here, we talk about eating four to six times a day. If you remember when I first told you we were going to eat five times a day, six times is not a problem. What you're doing is trying to keep your metabolism going. Now, in the last video, we told you how we were going to stop the second wave. That is your tricep, okay? So what we're going to do is this exercise can be done with as simple as some soup cans. You can do it empty-handed to get started. But what we're going to do is called dumbbell kickbacks. So you're going to lean over, keep your elbows parallel with your body, and then exactly like it says, kick back. Straighten your arms out, flexing in the back of your arms, in your tricep. So you're going to kick right straight back, right straight back. Now let me turn it a little bit different angle. You can do this one arm at a time or double arm. I would rather see you do this double arm. Elbow stays parallel to the body, kick it right straight back until your arm is totally straight. You're trying to lock out the tricep. Kick it back, bring it down, kick it back, okay? Again, you're going to do this exercise for 30 seconds, as many as you can get. When you first start a new exercise, <clears throat> each time we demonstrate something, usually do it just once that day because if it's going to get you sore, then you'll find that out the next day. If you don't get sore, go ahead and do it two times. Again, 30 seconds, give yourself about 30 seconds rest in between each set. Another exercise <clears throat> is called bench dips. Now, the higher the area that you do these on, the easier it will be. So, if you start with a high object, put your feet out in front of you a little ways. Again, bend at the elbow, let your body lower down then extend up until you straighten your arms. All the way down, let your knees bend, straighten back up. You're trying not to push with your knees, you're trying to lift with your arms. We're working the tricep. The lower the object, if the table gets down in here, down more like a bench, then it's gonna get a lot tougher. So as you get going on these, you might start with an object high, work your way down until you're getting closer to the ground. Now, like I was saying in the book, continue to follow through in it because it keeps things real simple. It will answer some of those questions along the way. <clears throat> so always refer back to the book. Remember, fitforyou.info is our website. Ask the pros, ask us any questions that you may have along the way. As we're going through this program, we'll try and keep you as much information as possible, but remember, we told you at the beginning you're working for 64 ounces of water a day. Now, once you've established that, and seven days into this program, you should be doing pretty good with your water. If you can up that a little bit, that would be better. It takes eight ounces of water a day for your body to burn one pound of body fat in a week. So, if you take your water from that 64 to 72 ounces of water a day, you're doing very well. So if you're getting the 64 in and you can raise your water just a little bit, that would be fantastic. So you want to try and take that water up a little bit. Now, tomorrow we're going to get to gizmos, gadgets, gimmicks, and fads. So don't miss tomorrow.